Well, hidey ho, my peeps. I am back to say, well, to say hidey ho twice, twice in one week. Uh, see my sunburned face? I, <laughs> I can't speak. I can spit real well and I can't speak. Anyway, I spend my time underneath a big, huge hat, but um, it's the sun still manages to find me. So I'm just a little little sunburn, little Chiquita sunburn. So I just came in from working outside with my neighbor. Um, man, he he's working miracles, working miracles in my yard. Another neighbor showed up today to take the third load of trash to the dump. So I'm, I just have one more load of junk I think and and all the stuff that needs to go to the dump will be at the dump so that's quite a milestone in this cleanup of my life um so I have some uh, videos to share with you about what I've been doing uh the past couple of days so I'm going to edit all that together and let's take a look well Heidi home my peeps I'm giving you a little glimpse of the work we've done the past few days. There's a big old pile of stuff there. It looks like junk, but it's not. Every bit of that belongs in a tool shed. Um, so we've managed to get this area pretty well taken care of. I screwed up. I knocked that uh, mirror center screen off the top of this chest of drawers and broke it so that's got to be dealt with but as you can see the rest of the the rest of the area the table and underneath it has been cleared all the firewood and stuff that was back there has been cleared so although this still looks you know hella messed up it's uh it's actually in much better much better shape now. So what I'm gonna do, I am, I'm on my little wheelie cart. Uh, I love automatic, things with, with wheels that automatically take me from place to place. I just love them. Okay, so now we're gonna come back over here and everything that's piled against the wall here is also something else that I know where it belongs. I just need to put it away. So we're looking, we're looking better. We're looking pretty good back here. Um, firewood's looking great, just beautifully stacked. So that's nice. Now I still need to dig in in this area. Obviously, there's just a lot of stuff sitting around, but you know. This is an easy fix. It's just a matter of sorting. Garbage. Um, uh, containers or um, purple shed. When my purple shed is where I keep all of my tools. Or it goes in the house. Um, so that's been a pretty... This is going to not be as ugly as it appears gonna get over here that's got to be cleaned up that little section and that little section there I'll let you get a better look at this area which we really we haven't really dug into but everything there's got a place so I'm not it's not scaring me one bit alrighty so boy one thing that is scaring me damn it I should have noticed this. Okay, let me show you. You see that white triangle or rectangle center stage? That is a solar panel. It's a whole array of solar panels right there. Grant did a pretty good job of tying them up and tying them together. But with all the wind we've been having, the little cover piece has fallen off. And that has got to be dealt with. So I'll have, I'll have my friend and neighbor fix that. Um, 
This green fencing is relatively new. Oh, all those batteries have to go to recycling. So this green fencing is relatively new. Um, my other, another one of my magic neighbors uh, put that up for me so that I can put um, Stella, who is right there, little Miss Stella, how's a good girl doing? I'm gonna put her up in that area. And I'm going to move my other watchdog down into this little fenced area around my house. So, okay, poor pigs are looking bad. It's been a hot day. Anyhow, what happened today, that's looking pretty good in there. Um, I woke up and I didn't have any water. Man, let me tell you something. Living here in Central California, up in the hills, where where you rely on a well or two or three um having the water suddenly stop flowing is frightening um however when i got out there to check it out i realized that one of the hose bibs had been left open and actually that lighter green plant by my trailer there that is an elderberry and um my friend mike <coughs> turned the water on there and forgot about it and it ran out of the you know ran out of the tank so so we had to go deal with restarting the the water and that sort of thing but what I want so now I've got enough water it's been a few it's been an entire day I've got enough water to restart the pump we've been without water all day look at that now I don't think you'd seen any photos or, or video of this area that was just piled high that concrete pad with stuff I mean it was piled high so some of the stuff is sitting out here and it's things that I need to put away, throw away, and so forth, but um, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Alrighty, so we're going to come over here. And, all right. So that entire area still needs to be dealt with, as does that area. But my friend, um, he stacked all of this lumber beautifully today. Here's our, uh, the next pile that goes to the dump is right there. So it's looking, it's looking better, even though I know it's hard for you guys to, to tell. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you down to the wellhead and we are going to see if we can get water. Yeah, that is one major drawback. Man, I wish I had this on a, a gimbal so you didn't see. I didn't jiggle you guys. Anyhow, it's one of the major drawbacks of living in the foothills of California is water has always been an issue, but, you know, now it is even a bigger issue scarier issue okay there's the wellhead let's come on over here and do what we got to do i need to turn on the pressure pump and now we need to come over here and I need to see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. We got water. That's cool. That is super cool. I'm not even going to worry about dealing with this structure here and all of its junk. Maybe a few pieces of junk. But that's basically Grant's automotive crap. And I'm just going to leave it, leave it where it lays. And 
I don't know if you can hear that hum. Boy, that's a happy sound. Okay, let's figure out how much water we've got in the tank. Let's see here. Damn, it's not very much water. Shit. I don't like the sound of that at all. That sounds quite hollow. Oh boy. All right, I may have more of a problem than I thought. All right, I will update you okay. later. Little by little, this work is getting done. We're finally attacking the um, this uh, concrete patio thing. And, um, you know, a lot of this stuff was garbage, but uh, some of it's gonna go to the store. I'm going to be making junk. Like, you see those, um, those uh, legs, they came off a cheap um, butcher block like people used to buy back in the 1980s. Anyhow, I'm going to use them and make um, garden, um, like little potting benches. I thought I could do something neat. This whole piano, it's just the whole thing's got to go. Um, I have a friend who junks metal and he will take the soundboard, but everything else is going to end up in in the garbage oh well sometimes you just you can't save everything <laughs> well my peeps me and my little cart made it over that rough ground and we are now going to check see what's going on here at the well let's come over here first see if it's still running yes it's still running Let's see how much we have. Let's see how much we have. That's the 1200 gallon mark, 1,000, 800, 700. Okay, we're just under 800 gallons. All right, that's plenty to try and put our pressure pump back online. So let's do that. Uh, and we can hear it on. And now I need to bleed the line a little bit. Whoa. Hot water on my foot. So, you know, that's a nice steady stream of water. I don't think we've got any backup. I mean, uh, air backed up, so maybe a little bit. Let me turn that off. We've got, uh, we have got about 60 pounds of pressure, so I think I'm going to head back up to the house and see if we have pressure at the house. Okie dokie, let's give this a try. Alrighty, let's give this a go. And not a thing, nothing, not a. All right, well, I am going to put that down to the water pressure need needing to build up in the lines again. So I'm gonna go ahead, head into town, do my banking and stuff and come back and check it. Well, it has been overnight and I now have water to every spigot every toilet every faucet has water and it makes me so happy i wanted to give you a little glimpse this is the next morning my friend is um, cleaning up this area here that was piled high with junk and all kinds of weird stuff he has neatly um, stacked my fence panels which i'm finally going to break down and start using. Of course, I've shown you um, this area where we used fence panels. Now I'm going to replace fencing in my front yard where the dogs live 
and I think I may take some over to the store as well. So anyhow, just wanted to, to show you the progress we've made on this beautiful morning. Well, Heidi, ho everybody. I'm going to give you another update. We've been doing a lot of work the past few days. And this is where we are. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, <clears throat> I'm real happy about this scary piano because one of my friends took a look at it today and said, oh, I want that. I said, sure, no problem. Do you want to, what do you want us to do with it? He said, leave it exactly the way it is. I said, what in the world are you gonna do with a piano that does not play? And he had two words for me, yard art. So that's cool. He can have it, welcome to it. Okay, so this area got cleaned up today. I've added another pallet because I've got more firewood coming. Um, my friend and neighbor cleaned up the, I mean, this was actually a flower bed sort of vegetable garden thing originally, and he's getting this all cleaned up for me. We restacked the fence posts so that they look nice and neat. Um, he continued to dig my rocks that were buried in the dirt there. He continued to dig those out so they're available. Um, all this stuff along here is stuff that I'm keeping but just needs to be put in its proper spot. So you can see over here just how nice it looks. That area back in there where you see the table that's where I keep all my mosaic supplies. Um, I love to do mosaics, and you've seen some of them. And I put my, um, uh, the aloe vera, I've got that here in the, uh, in this little flower bed. So that'll, that'll be protected. I got those watered and put away today. The palm tree's looking beautiful. Yep. Okay, so... We got all of this area here. He raked it all up, but we'll need to rake again. This stupid tree, it drops leaves all year long, all year long. So I really need to top, have it topped about maybe, maybe 10 or 12 feet up. And so I can get rid of all, all of that noise. Um, all right, so let's see here. Um, we got some of this raked up. It kind of looks pretty much the way it did before. Um, not too much new there. And let's see. This area over here a friend of mine who knows all things automotive is going to consolidate my gas can. Some of them have gas, some of them don't, but we're going to consolidate them into a, you know, a couple of, of gas cans and then clean out the others and have them just ready, you know, for, for gas if we need it again. I've got way too many gas cans. I should give a few away, but that's all going to get neatened up. Okay. We still haven't gotten around to this area to get it cleaned. Um, but that pretty well, that pretty well shows off everything we've done new. Um, now I'm going to head out to the, uh, head it to my uh, water tank and I'm going to see if we have, how much water we have. <laughs> 